Just a reminder that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up, commenting, or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. The Viking Jupiter is a 745-foot all-veranda small ship that belongs to Viking's Ocean Fleet, where all vessels share nearly identical layouts. Built in 2019, it accommodates 930 guests in 464 staterooms with 465 crew members supporting passengers age 18 and over. Today we're exploring one of Viking's luxurious explorer suites aboard the Viking Jupiter. This is cabin 4001, a category ES-1 stateroom located forward on deck four, starboard side. Viking's ocean ships are designed with just four of these exclusive explorer suites, all situated forward, offering guests one of the largest spaces available on board, second only to the owner's suite. And since all Viking ocean ships share a similar layout, this tour applies to Explorer Suites across their entire fleet. In this video, we will show you a detailed description inside the largest Explorer Suite, show you some of the differences between an Explorer Suite and the next lowest category cabin, the Penthouse Junior Suite, and pose the question, is it worth the upgrade? Then we will, as always, give you our opinion. Along the way, we'll share a few tips to enhance your experience and links for any recommended items are provided in the video description. Remember, any purchases through these links support charity at no additional cost to you. Thank you for your generosity. So let's get to it. Let's take a closer look at what makes this suite unique. With its forward location and angled entrance, the stateroom is set apart from the hallway, offering added privacy and a secluded feel for the living area. This stateroom is about 1,163 square feet, including the veranda, providing plenty of space. Viking style reflects a Scandinavian-inspired decor that's simple and elegant with clean lines, soft neutrals, and natural materials. We've partially closed the drapery to reduce glare here, but with windows all around, this room can be filled with light, offering expansive views and a bright atmosphere. The sitting area features a large flat screen television, a dining table for four, and a desk. Everything you need for relaxation, dining, or catching up on work. There's a small refrigerator built into the desk where you'll find your mini bar. In this category of cabin, the mini bar is stocked with a selection of alcoholic beverages, soft drinks, water, and snacks, all replenished once daily. A carafe of filtered water is replenished daily. Your quiet Vox transmitters are located at the desk and make sure you plug them in daily so they will be ready to use on all of your tours. We prefer to use an Airfly Duo with our quiet Vox boxes, which allows each of us to pair our Bluetooth wireless headphones with only one box, usually carried by one of us in a pocket, rather than each of us having something hanging around our necks. Individuals with Bluetooth-enabled hearing aids may find AirFly transmitters useful. There are two US and two EU outlets located at the desk. The Viking Jupiter doesn't feature USB outlets at the desk. Unlike some of the newer ocean ships like the Viking Venus, which offer USB-A and USB-C ports for added convenience. We always recommend bringing a universal adapter to ensure you can charge your electronics both at hotels and on board especially if your particular stateroom or ship doesn't have the specific outlets you need. There's a lighted vanity mirror and a pair of binoculars conveniently located at the desk. It's important to note that this mirror is not a magnifying mirror. However, in this level of cabin, the desk vanity area may not see much use since there's a beautifully appointed vanity in the dressing area, which we'll take a look at shortly. There is free Wi-Fi on board, Although connection speeds can vary with each voyage, the 42-inch flat-screen televisions in both the living area and the bedroom offer a variety of channels, including MSNBC, Fox News, and National Geographic. One of our favorite features of Viking's television system is the on-demand capability, which includes rebroadcast of onboard enrichment lectures, 
pre-recorded educational talks, television shows, movies, and a wealth of information about your cruise. The entrance to the bedroom is located beside the desk and is hidden from the main entry door. As you step inside, you'll find a spacious dressing area on the right. This area features a large full-length mirror on one side with a full-length hanging space at the end of the wardrobe. In the closet, you'll find your slippers and robes, but you may want to move them into the spacious bathroom, which we'll tour in just a moment. There's a storage shelf at the top of this hanging area providing extra storage. Opposite the mirror, you'll find three drawers and several shelves. Among the shelves, there's a safe discreetly hidden behind a door designed to accommodate all your essentials, including a 13-inch laptop, two tablets, wallets, passports, jewelry, and more. The seated vanity is well lit and features a magnifying mirror along with a drawer that contains a powerful blow dryer. The beds in this suite can be arranged either as a king or twin configuration depending on your preference. The second flat screen television is located at the foot of the bed for easy viewing. There are nightstands on each side of the bed, each equipped with one US and one EU outlet, as well as two USB-A outlets for charging. Light controls are also positioned beside the bed for easy access. We'll come back to the balcony after we take a look at the bathroom. Each nightstand comes with a drawer and a shelf offering extra bedside storage. Under the bed, there's 13 inches of clearance, perfect for storing your luggage. While this suite is very spacious, it's always helpful to have luggage out of the way. Here's an example of how we typically store ours. We nest our carry-ons inside our checked bags and slide them easily under the bed. The expansive bathroom in the Explorer Suite is one of our favorite features. It has an undeniably luxurious feel and is exceptionally spacious. Upon entering, you'll notice a large vanity with dual sinks and drawers below for convenient storage. The vanity also features a large, well-lit, anti-fog mirror with a long shelf beneath it, along with additional shelving on both ends. Across from the mirror, you'll find the commode with a towel warmer. The heated floors, which are standard on all Viking River, Ocean, and Expedition ships, add extra comfort, especially on cooler sailings. The bathroom centerpiece is a combined shower and deep soaking bathtub, with a seat in the shower area for added convenience. For those needing extra stability, Viking can provide a shower chair upon request. Just ask Viking before you sail or your steward on board. The shower head offers both a fixed and handheld option, and a retractable clothesline spans the width of the wet room for drying swimwear or lightweight clothing. But as you might expect, this category of stateroom comes with complimentary laundry, pressing, and shoe shine services. Notably, the shower itself doesn't include grab bars. The only one in the bathroom is located beside the toilet on the wall behind it. A unique touch here is the mirror opposite the bathtub, which has a built-in TV, perfect for a relaxing soak while catching up on enrichment programs about your cruise on demand. Viking's own line of Freya toiletries, including shampoo, conditioner, body wash, body lotion, bar soap, and washcloths are provided and we've been impressed with their quality. Let's head out to the balcony. Similar suites positioned at the aft of the ship offer larger wraparound balconies, providing more expansive outdoor space, while forward suites like this one don't include wraparound balconies due to increased wind exposure at the front of the ship, but they do feature more living space. The balcony furnishings are a substantial upgrade featuring a table with four wooden chairs, two cushion loungers, and comfortable seating all around. It's worth noting that the only access to the balcony is through a door located behind the main living area. The dining and bedroom areas offer large panoramic windows that create the impression of a spacious wraparound veranda with fantastic views, but these decks aren't accessible, making them simply part of the view rather than usable space. The views from this balcony are unobstructed above and below. If you're deciding between the Explorer Suite and the next tier down, the Penthouse Junior Suite, here's a quick comparison to help you make your choice. You can see our full walkthrough and review of a Penthouse Junior Suite on our channel. The Penthouse Junior Suite offers around 405 square feet, including a comfortable veranda, 
a seating area, additional storage, and priority boarding. It strikes a great balance between luxury and practicality for most travelers. If you're considering an Explorer Suite versus a Penthouse Junior Suite on your Viking Ocean Cruise, here's something to keep in mind. The Penthouse Junior Suite is around 30% less expensive. Note that there are also smaller aft Explorer Suites priced between these two categories. What do you gain with the Explorer Suite, aside from the extra space? Shore Excursion Reservations. Explorer Suite guests can book shore excursions 137 days before departure, compared to the 127-day window for Penthouse Junior Suite guests. This gives Explorer Suite guests a significant advantage in securing popular tours, as many sell out quickly. This is a serious consideration because on every Viking Ocean cruise that we have taken, many optional shore excursions sell out quickly. Dining Reservations Explore Suite guests receive three priority dining reservations per alternative restaurant 90 days in advance. Penthouse Junior Suite guests get the same number of reservations, but at 80 days in advance. This extra flexibility is not so valuable in our opinion, since we have always been able to get the dining reservations we want once on board. Now let's talk about one of the more relaxing perks, spa reservations. Guests in an Explorer Suite can reserve spa services up to 90 days before departure, compared to 80 days for Penthouse Junior Suite guests. This priority can be helpful on voyages where certain treatments or times are in high demand, like sea days or around specific port excursions. However, we have to say in our experience on Viking Ocean Cruises, we've never had difficulty booking spa appointments, even as we got closer to the date and we absolutely love the spa and fitness center on board. With Viking's complimentary thermal suite and serene Nordic-inspired facilities, the onboard spa is one of the best ways to unwind during your cruise. If you're choosing between a penthouse junior suite and an explorer suite on a Viking Ocean cruise, the decision often comes down to budget, space, and exclusive benefits. With a penthouse junior suite, you'll enjoy a comfortable and well-appointed space with priority reservations compared to most staterooms on board and a relaxing veranda at a lower cost than an explorer suite. This option is ideal for travelers who want luxury, priority and value, but may not need extensive extra space or top tier exclusivity. On the other hand, the Explorer Suite justifies its higher price with significantly more room, panoramic views, and the highest levels of reservation priority for shore excursions and dining, other than the single owner suite on every ship. If having first choice reservations and a more expansive suite for entertaining or relaxing is a priority, the Explorer Suite is a standout choice, especially for longer voyages. We hope you enjoyed our in-depth tour of an Explorer Suite on a Viking Ocean ship. Would you consider staying in this suite, or do you prefer other options on board? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen, and we'll see you next time.